Hello, my name is Bentina Terry, Senior Vice President of Metro Atlanta and Corporate Relations for Georgia Power. I am so honored to be here speaking to you for such an important cause. These events have pushed all of us, our city, our citizens, and of course at Georgia Power, our employees, in ways we never could have imagined. We've had to completely rethink many aspects of our lives. We've had to ask ourselves what is truly important and we've all gotten clarity about how important resiliency is to making it through this and emerging as a stronger community. Since March, like many other companies, a large number of our Georgia Power office-based workforce has been working remotely from home. However, the men and women of our line crews and at our power plants who keep the lights on have been out there continuing to serve you, our customers. Through all of this, we've wanted to ensure that we provide the same safe, clean, reliable energy that you need and expect, in particular during these trying times. We know that you need us to keep the lights on in our hospitals, nursing homes, testing facilities, and fire stations. We know that you need to keep the electricity flowing to your homes as you manage the competing priorities of working and being teachers for your children or your grandchildren. We know that you're relying on us to keep the power running, and that is an obligation that we do not take lightly. Our employees have shown the resiliency through these challenges because we know that you are depending on us. Because of our work, we have a special appreciation for our first responders who've continued their work every day, leaving their own families at home and putting their own health and well being on the line. To you, we'd like to first say thank you. Your bravery and selflessness during this trying time does not go unnoticed, and we are grateful for each and every one of you. Our first responders understand that we need them and have shown the resiliency to keep coming back day after day, facing dangers we cannot imagine. At Georgia Power, we believe in being a citizen wherever we serve, which includes giving back to our communities and supporting our state's first responders. The Georgia Power family has come together to support local food banks, make masks, and donate meals for essential workers. We've also allowed our building locations to be used at COVID-19 testing sites. Additionally, the Georgia Power Foundation has invested more than a million dollars across the state of Georgia in charities and nonprofits that are addressing the unprecedented impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. These organizations that are focused on food insecurity and homelessness and providing support to small businesses are lifelines for those in need. And we recognize the strain this global health crisis has on our families and our communities. We recognize that our efforts, our dollars, our support are important to this rebuilding process. But we also know that our country and our home state of Georgia is facing more than a global health pandemic right now, as we also see the violence against people of color more prominently than ever in the streets of America. As an African-American woman, I'm acutely aware of the sting of racism and sexism. I felt the pain since the first time I was called the N-word at seven years old. I ache as I watch people of color killed, when I see my Asian friends suffer the slurs of the insensitive, when I see my city on fire. As community partners, as a company that loves this community, whose employees live in this community, we know it's imperative that we create equity, inclusion, and justice. We know in the midst of these unprecedented times, our leadership is important to the future of this city. At Georgia Power, we take our role as the largest energy provider in the state and our ability to be an influencer in our communities very seriously. That's why we as a company have been vocal in the fight against racism and hate crimes across our state. Now more than ever, we are called to love and support one another, to be advocates and allies so that we can be the best version of ourselves for our family, our friends, our community, and the next generation. Again, thank you to Families First for putting this together. Your dedication to your calling and your resiliency to continue to get up every day and give your best self is respected in a year that has tried its hardest to knock us all down. Thank you for having me today. Let us all continue to be a shining light that glows amidst some very dark days. Thank you. Thank you.